In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use C Advisor to create a dashboard like this. So you can monitor your hosts that are running Docker as well as their Docker containers. So you can see things like their overall core usage, like you can see here, how much memory that host is using with Docker, and also, you know, how much CPU each individual container is using, its memory, its memory uh, that's cached, and the IO, all of that good stuff. And since this has all been logged, this is a great way to troubleshoot. As I just mentioned, I'm gonna be showing you how you can install C Advisor on your host that are running Docker so you can get all of those great metrics. Now there's a couple of topics where we'll be covering. Uh, C Advisor is just one part of some other components that we need. I have actually covered how to get the other services like Prometheus all set up in my other video, which is helping you get started with Grafana. So if you don't actually have a Grafana dashboard, which is what you've seen before, as well as a Prometheus service, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I highly recommend going to and watching uh, the video. I have a link somewhere it will get you started from scratch and then once you've watched that then you can come pretty much to this video and then you can pretty much continue onwards i also have a link to my documentation page which has all the information and all the steps as well but enough talking let's get into it right so coming to my documentation here we've got deploying c advisor with docker compose so a link to this will be in the description now the great thing about this, if you have followed the previous video, then you'll understand the Prometheus side of things, right? With the other video where we're using Node Exporter to export the uh, metrics and everything from the host to Prometheus, and then Grafana, which is the dashboard, was grabbing the data that was in Prometheus, and then you can do all the cool graphs. So what we had, we had you know Node Exporter running on all those hosts, so same sort of thinking, same sort of logic, but we're using what's called C Advisor now, right? So C Advisor will be grabbing rather than the metrics from the host, it's grabbing the metrics from uh, the Docker, right? It's, running, it's grabbing the metrics from Docker and all the containers and then it's sending it to Prometheus and it's the same sort of logic. Then you can build dashboards using the information that's in Prometheus to, you know, yeah, build nice little dashboards. And that dashboard I had is actually a template, so I'll show you all of that. So yeah, going through to services, we have Prometheus. And again, if you follow the Grafana video, my previous video, you already have a Prometheus set up. Um, and you only need to add C Advisor and the Redis. And then again, in Prometheus, we have the jobs, right? If you remember that. So every um, every metric, sorry, every host that you were grabbing information from was a job in the Prometheus configuration. And I'll show you this in a second as well. So if you already have Prometheus up and running, we're just creating a new job. We're just telling Prometheus, hey, look, you've got another um, place to grab information from, and here it is. And this here is showing an example of kind of integrating it with your existing so you'd already have your scrape configs for your prometheus jobs and now you're just adding another job for c advisor if this doesn't make much sense that's okay i'm going to cover all of this and then if you're wanting to install it on additional hosts so you've already got prometheus installed you only need that in one place remember now prometheus is like the bucket of you know data where it's all been sent to right so all we need to do if we're creating other hosts, we can create a C advisor we can deploy c advisor like we did with node exporter on any host we want and then on our Prometheus jobs, we tell it, hey, look, you've got another place to reach out and grab information from. Again, I'm going to cover all of this. So what we'll do now is I am going to jump onto my server that is going to be running Prometheus, right? Again, it only needs to run on one host. And then it's also going to run C Advisor as well. So we're going to set that host up first. And then after that, and once we've got the dashboard and everything up and running, we can then add an additional host with C Advisor and we can see them all come together. And then you should be good to carry on yourself with adding additional hosts. Right, so I'm on my host now. So this is the one that's going to be running uh, Prometheus as well as C Advisor. So I have a directory. I just called it Prometheus because this is where Prometheus as well as the other services will be running. You can call the folder that you're in any um, sort of name as long as it makes sense. So if I just do a print working directory, you can see the layout that I do for all of my containers. So I have like in my home directory, in my user directory, I create a folder called Docker and then all of my Docker containers will live in there. So I'll just show you just for context. See, every single service that I use um, that's using Docker Compose, I'll make a folder for it and then in there lives the Compose file and whatnot. So we just change directory back in the Prometheus. So what we need to do is we need to create that Docker Compose, right? So I've already given that to you. So if we go back over to the documentation, this is the file that you're gonna need, right? So what we can do is we can just copy this, right? The information that's in here. And I've just noticed that the volume, there's only um, the YAML file, but if I come to my actual main Prometheus, it's also got a, a volume. Don't worry, by the time you see this documentation, that will already be updated, so it's fine. Um, you just might notice that there's an extra volume here in my actual deployment. Uh, again, this will be all fixed by the time you see the video. 
So we're going to copy this, right? And we're going to jump back over to the server. Here we are. And if I go into my Docker Compose, which I prepared earlier, here we have it. So we have our Prometheus, like I said, we need that as the data source. Now, Prometheus will be looking for a config file, right? And again, in my previous video, I walked you through setting up Prometheus and getting the config file and everything that you need, right? So I really recommend you watching that so you can get that all set up with Prometheus if you don't already have it set up. But what that is, is just in here in the Prometheus, Prometheus has that YAML file with all the config that you need, right? So again, that's why I recommend watching the previous video. So we have our config file, right? So I've already talked about these. So we have our Prometheus, we have our C advisor, and we have our Redis, right? Which is great. And we also have the volume for the Prometheus data. So all of the logs and everything that we're storing, if our container gets destroyed for whatever reason and restarts or whatnot, all of that information is still saved. So we can save this file once you've put everything in there. So once you've got that all set up, right? You've got the Prometheus Docker Compose in there. What we need to do is actually go into our Prometheus folder where our configuration file was. And we need to edit this, right? So if we come into here, we can see we, with our scrape configs that we did in the last video, we have you know, our Prometheus and whatever services that you are scraping. But what we need to also do now is scroll down and look for our C advisor, right? So I already have these in here, but let me just re-add them so you can get an understanding on how it all works. So these are all the scrape configs for the node exporter, right, from our previous video. So now what we need to do is simply go back to the documentation and if we scroll down, we can see this is what we need to modify, right? We just need to add the scrape config for the C advisor. We don't need the scrape configs top part, we just need the job, right? So we can just copy that back to our Prometheus YAML file and we can paste that in just like that. And now we've got C advisor is going to scrape every five seconds and it's asking for the target, right? So for the target, we need to set in the IP address for this as well as the port that C advisor is running on. So my IP address is 192.168.68.113 and I am running this on port 8083 because 8080 was used on mine and that's what was in the example. But feel free, to, if you've changed the C advisor port, just this, you need to make sure it matches here, right? Because otherwise um, Prometheus is gonna go on and try to scrape on the wrong port and it's not going to hit C advisor. But that is it, right? That's exactly all you need to do. So I can save this now, close out of that, and now I can go back to my Docker Compose and we can spin it up. So Docker Compose up hyphen D and hit enter. And now it's deployed. Right, I'm gonna delete the dashboard that I had just so I can show you um, that the information is there and I'm not using some existing one. So again, you'll have Grafana all set up from that previous video. What we can do now is go new and we can go new dashboard. And we want to import the dashboard, right? So we go import dashboard because someone's already spent the time and effort to build one for us. And we can click this, which is grafana.com dashboards. And this will take us to like a template page. And here what we need to do is, I've already got the name here. I'll have this in the description. Let me just remove the tags part. And this is the dashboard that we want. It's already configured to pull the correct uh, queries from the data that we have. So if I click on this, it will give us the ID. We can click copy ID to clipboard. Go back to our um, import dashboard page and paste that in and hit load. And now it's going to grab that dashboard. And now it's just gonna ask us to select the data source where our, our information is, right? We know it's all going into Prometheus and you already have this data source set up if you followed the last video. So I'm gonna click there, I'm gonna click import. And there you go. The information's already come in and we've got a little bit of a, a previous time because that was already coming into Prometheus before we built that dashboard, right? So now we can see where all the containers are coming in and we've got, you know, the memory, all of that good stuff. So that's how simple it is with deploying Prometheus and getting C Advisor. Now all we need to do, if we want to get an additional host in, all we need to do is deploy C Advisor on that specific host with the Redis container. And then we just need to tell the Prometheus config about it and you've got another host and it's just rinse and repeat from that point on. So I'm on another server here. So this is just my Raspberry Pi. So what I can do here is again, if I go back to my documentation, you can see here under the section adding C advisor to an existing Prometheus setup because we do have Prometheus already up and running. All we need to do is copy this and put it on our new host, right? Go to our server and I already have one prepared earlier. And here it is here. So again, very straightforward. So we're just saying the image, uh, we're creating C advisor like we had, it's exactly the same, right? And again, 
8080 is used on the server so i've changed it to 8083 and it's kind of just becoming a theme now for where my c advisor runs just make sure you do the same if you need to just don't change this port and now what happens is i can save it right and i can do docker compose up hyphen d it's going to create c advisor redis and the network for it and now this is just running by itself, right? Nothing is actually grabbing the information that C Advisor is generating. So we need to set up that scrape config to really finalize it. So coming back to the server that's running Prometheus, we'll change back into the Docker uh, Prometheus. And what we need to do is nano the Prometheus config file. I'm kind of being a little bit vague on this because I've gone into more detail in that previous video and there's just no point in repeating myself so many times every time I cover it. So that previous video really explains it well. So coming down here, so all we need to do now is add another job name, right? So I can pretty much just copy this if I want, come back down here and paste. But the, another key thing, what we should actually do is set these job names, they need to be unique, right? So I can just put maybe like an underscore here and this is for my Electron Cloud, that's the name of that server. Um, and then this one could be C Advisor um, Tech Docs Local. So Tech Docs Local is just what the, my Raspberry Pi is called. And then I can come down here and set this to the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, which is 107. And that's it, right? It's actually quite simple. Once you've got the, the foundation set up, adding additionals is so straightforward. So we can save this again now, save it. And I've found that I actually need to, uh, for Prometheus to pick up the jobs, I've actually found that I need to pull the Prometheus uh, container down then back up again. So if I just do a Docker compose down, it will bring everything down. That's fine because um, we have that Prometheus data, right? So we're not losing anything. Then I can do a Docker compose up hyphen D and that will bring everything back up. And then Prometheus will start that job again. It was, you know, check the, the jobs and make sure it's running them all. So here we are in Grafana. We can see we now also have that new host that's popped up in the corner there. Now, for some weird reason, the uh, host, the Raspberry Pi host doesn't actually show the metrics for, you know, like the, the total memory on this corner here. I, I don't know why that happens, but you could also see it just popped up on the left hand side here as well. And now all the containers will start coming in as well. And we can also filter it. So we can, I know 107 is my Raspberry Pi. There we go. I can just filter it just on this and see how it's going. And as the data comes in, you know, we'll get more and more information and a better, you know, trend, which is cool. And we can also change it to my Electron Cloud server, or we can just have them all. And that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Again, follow that previous video where you'll get Prometheus and all of that set up and get familiar with dashboards and then come on to this one and then you can set up C Advisor and then adding new hosts is actually so straightforward and simple. It's just deploy C Advisor on the host, edit the Prometheus config file and away you go. But that has been how to deploy C Advisor on your host so you can have a cool dashboard. Now, if you've got any questions, link to my Discord is below and so will that video be that I highly recommend you to watch. If, got, if you get stuck at any point, and you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. It will explain and get you just confident with getting this initial part set up, right? Um, yeah, comments, all of that good stuff. If you want to support, subscribe, uh, check out my merch. A link will be in the description somewhere. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.